Hey guys, this is Mike from the DTF Superstore, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly add text from within CAD link to an existing design. So the first thing you need to know is that this will not work on PDFs. So if you have a PDF, you're going to need to resave it as a PNG or a JPEG. If I right click on this top dragon, which is a PDF, you'll see I don't have the option here to edit in GIMP. But this bottom dragon, right click, because that's a PNG, you can see that I have edit with GIMP. GIMP is installed when you install CAD link, so there's nothing more to do there. I'm gonna click edit with GIMP. You can see it open now. And here's my dragon. So the first thing I'm gonna do is this is displaying in pixels, but I would feel more comfortable viewing this in inches since we're talking about t-shirt designs. So I'm gonna to go to the bottom left and change that to inches. The next thing I'm gonna do is add some space below this because I need somewhere to be able to type the text. So I'm gonna go up to image, down to canvas size. Right now my image is about six inches wide, eight and a half inches, tall. So I think I'm going to add about two inches below this. If I click the up arrow on height, it's going to add an inch each time. So I'm going to click that twice. And now it's about 10 and a half. You can see now it added some space on the bottom. Now you can move your art around if you wanted that space to be at the top, or you could do this to the width as well. You could hit center and it's going to distribute the spacing, but like I said, in this case, I want the space on the bottom because that's where I'm gonna put my text. You also wanna make sure that you fill with transparency and not a background color. That way, say a black background or a white background does not print. When you're all set, click resize. And now there's my space at the bottom. Next, I'm going to go to the top left here and hit the text tool. Once you do that, on the right, there's your fonts to pick. I'm going to use a font called University. And here's other options such as your color and your size. In this case, I had used the eyedropper, which is when you click the swatch there. Click that, and this is gonna let you pick a color from within your design. I'm gonna pick the red, click OK, and now I'm gonna hit somewhere down on the bottom here and start typing. So there's my dragons. I'm gonna go back to the Move tool, put this where I want it, and I think I'm gonna center this by eye because I want the middle of dragons to kind of meet this point of the shield. Uh, but I think I do want to make it a little bigger, so I'm going to go back to my text tool, double click, and I'm just going to bump this font size up. Once I'm done, I'll go back to the move tool, center it again. That looks good, and I think I'm ready. So lastly, I just need to go up to the top menu, select CAD link, send to digital factory. And now if I go back to CAD link, you can see my art coming in. It's already set up with my preferences. So it's flipped that way when we press this, the text looks correct and that's it. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button. Drop us a comment if you have any questions and we will see you next time. Thanks.